So what we're showing here today is a demo that um, allows LED signs to do direct marketing to a, a user. For example, here is an example LED sign. What we can do is actually have those LEDs that formulate that sign um, send information that would allow you to uh, go to like a web address on your smartphone to get more information about that sign. We have LEDs here that are actually sending data and pretend like those LEDs are part of this sign. So if we want to get more information about the, for example, this is a ring, I would point my smartphone at that sign and there comes up a picture of the ring and maybe you get more information, you know, the price where you can buy it at. The way we do that is we modulate these LEDs with a data format that only your camera can see. Your eyes can't see it. To you, it looks like the LEDs are just on. But if you look up here uh, and watch this for a moment, you'll see the um, LEDs are actually blinking, but only your camera um, can pick that uh, information up. Yeah, this is very similar to a QR code, except I can't put a QR code onto here because it's it, it's not a L LCD display. It doesn't have the pixel density to do a QR code. In addition, uh, this technology functions at a, a longer distance than a QR code. If I had a QR code down here in the bottom of the sign, you would have to walk up to the sign and use your camera to to process a QR code. With this technology, you can actually stand back about 10 times farther and just point your camera at the, the sign, and you can pick up the same information that you would pick up off of a QR code. The, with, with, with this um, eight LEDs, we are running at about 100 bits per second, 100 bits per second. With this sign, with more LEDs, we'd probably run a couple kilobits per second. So the, 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 the data rates really dependent on how many LEDs you have. The more LEDs, the faster you can send the data. Because each LED is sending data.